this is 2024 and this is what we're still doing. This is what we're still fighting. Tia Upshaw was horrified when pictures came across her social media feed showing four people wearing long white robes and pointed white hoods, one carrying a large cross. Video taken inside what appears to be the North Sydney Firefighters Club shows some attendees dressed as members of the Ku Klux Klan while attending a Halloween party. Ku Klux Klan, KKK, I, I don't care what rock you come from under, um, everybody knows who they, what they stand for, um, who they were, and what it represents for, you know, black individuals. The fact that people continue to do things like this and know that it's okay, it's... Oh, yeah, like they probably thought it was going to be a good laugh or yeah, I mean that that's the sad part about it. The North Sydney Firefighters Club executive made a Facebook post Sunday night. We made a mistake. The post reads, we apologize to any and all of our community who were offended or hurt by our lack of actions. These four individuals are in no way, shape or form associated with our organization. We promise to be better in the future. There was no empathy or anything in that apology. It was basically just an apology to save face after the fact because of the backlash. You know what I mean? If, if people weren't calling and, and sending emails and, and I, we wouldn't have gotten an apology. In a separate Facebook post, North Sydney Deputy Fire Chief Wade Guthrow asked for the community's forgiveness, saying most times we think, ah, it's a costume without really thinking of the big picture or the past it represents. So when the folks comment that they shouldn't have gotten in and that we need to do better, you are right and we will. We've seen the systemic racism and it continues you know, to seep into everything, um, and there's no accountability or consequences. Provo hopes there will be steps made to try and educate moving forward, as an apology without action means nothing.